Hello and welcome to another Dominion League match. My third of the season, playing this time against uh, former moderator supreme and current moderator re regular, I guess. Although still one of the hardest working moderators for sure. Uh, A Libby, eleven fifty two, and we've got uh, we've got some. Potentially awkward plus actions here with uh, you got to trash trails with transmogrify. I actually just had a game that kind of, oh, I guess there's also Way of the Turtle, but just had a game with this combination. It was, that was pretty fun. Um, not in a, in a league match or anything, but so probably we just open Amulet Tmog. Like we really want to be able to do the trail stuff. Ultimately, that enables us to do big bridge or inventor things. I think I'm just gonna yeah, open Amulet Tmog. Um, all right. I think. How much do we care about having silvers around? I'm uh, sorry, not silvers. Uh, estates around, like a state. Teamogging a state is not like that good. What we really want to teamog is free cost or trails, but yeah. Um I think I think go ahead and trash the estate. And Go ahead and trash this as well and get a trail. Um, it's playing it now is probably a little bit better just because we have it. Um, t dang. Okay. <laughs> I was hoping our team mog would find it here. I think I'm going to get the, another trail, but this time I am going to turtle it. Because I don't want to draw my trail. Maybe I should have opened Inventor, because you can just do Inventor trail. Well... We play the trailer do we I think we play it for similar reasons um we want to get on their tmog mm, we probably do um play this too again just so that we can cycle farther and get closer to having our uh be more likely to see another trail all right i think i'm just going to take another trail here and play it normally okay cool <clears throat> It's possible that what we're supposed to do is just go trail into trail just just to have more trails. I mean, taking an inventor would be about as good, though. So. Uh... Play the trail. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and take the inventor and trash the copper. That should be fine, I think. We don't have any more estates, yeah. So we can get another trail here. Um, yeah, again, there's not much reason to turtle. 
just play it normally. So Yeah, we have five trails. Our opponent will presumably get a fifth trail. So we're we're even on that front. What we would really like to get at this point is like a couple more T Mogs. Um, although, hmm, it's tricky because like we also want to get either Bridger or Inventor. No, I'm not sure which is better, to be honest. Hmm. I think Inventor because of the gain in play. And it's not like we need five costs. Okay. Well, although we aren't going to be able to get a Destrier here unless we... In a silver, I mean, we could do that. Doesn't help us get more T mogs, but maybe we wait on that until we did get one down. It's unfortunate how few of our trails we saw this turn, but eh, maybe it's not that bad. We are going to need the draw. And silver can also be T mogged. Though not for plus actions, it must be noted. Hmm. I mean, the other thing we could do is go Inventor on Tmog and then Amulet for Coin and by Destrier. So we could, yeah, that's if we do Silver, we can invent Destrier by Destrier. So we either get two Destriers and a Silver, or we get a Destrier and a T-Mog. Um, I think... <sighs> it's a tough call, honestly. I think I like the, the Transmogrify more, to be honest. Oh, we don't need to take plus coin. We could... Turtle the amulet. Does that help anything? Uh, keeps it out of our deck a little bit longer. Definitely a tricky kingdom here. So we're definitely trashing a trail, playing it, and probably just gaining another T-Mug. And then now I think we go ahead and play this and trash a copper. Um, I'm going to just put another T-Mug into the shuffle. If we don't get to buy anything this turn, I don't think that's a huge problem. Okay, we can buy a Destrier. Do it. We only got one of the T Mogs down, which is unfortunate, but.
we are going to run into problems where we just don't have enough payload if we can't play enough inventors or bridges once we trash all of our copper. But, I mean, I guess we can take silvers if we need to. And it will make Destriers cheaper if we do that. Hmm. All right, do we just take yet another team og or do we take like a uh like we have two inventors in our deck we're likely only going to be able to play those two inventors this turn um so do you kind of like taking the team og um And the other question is, what do we do? Maybe we do go ahead and take silver this turn. Well, there's a few too many team mugs, maybe. Um, but what we can do. Play three of these, turtle the last one for plus actions next turn. And then take another Destrier. And oh, right, that's a double discount. I don't think our opponent has enough gains to empty here, so I'm going to go ahead and take that Destrier too. Yeah, I was afraid of this. No. No plus actions here. We can team mog the silver. Um, if we if just even just having like one trail in hand would make a huge difference because then we would like draw more off of that team mog. But this this is pretty unfortunate. Mogging the silver will definitely help, but hmm. I don't think it three actions. Hmm. Turtle to bridge. Okay. Maybe that's what I should have been going for this whole time, is trying to build up bridge stuff with Way of the Turtle and just leave... Oh, no, wait, that doesn't... No, no, yeah, yeah, that works. Yeah, we could we could do that. Um... I guess we just turtle this again... Um, one has one T-Mog, one Inventor, one, two Bridges. Um, actually, you know what? I want to I want to play this normally because there's no reason not to to play it normally because we have this T-Mog that we can do a thing with if we need to. All right, let's get a bridge off this guy. And Okay. The question is do we risk just losing the game immediately? Like, we can buy a province here. Uh, no, we can't. Just kidding. We didn't actually play an inventor. Okay. In that case... Uh, we're just going to turtle the bridge. Uh, play the game. Yeah, turtle the no. Mm. I think it's play the T-Mog. Play the amulet. Turtle the bridge. Uh, 
I guess we could turtle both of these. If we're just going to buy like another bridge. All right, so we might just lose here. Hopefully not. Like our opponent is definitely not as thin. Oh, they did get plus actions off that oasis, though. That's pretty good. And they do have a lot of draw here. Oh, scary. No! 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 Ah, shit. All right, well... I I overplayed my position a little bit there. Played that too fast and loose. Um Yeah. I shouldn't have picked up quite so many T Mogs. I think I I mean yeah, it was like one or two more than was good. And I probably should have been looking at like Turtle Bridge a lot harder earlier. I was focused on the plus actions, but we didn't necessarily need that much plus actions. We could have just gotten it off of uh, Turtle built up that way. Yep, that was that was just a board that I, I misplayed. Okay, well, here the plus actions is either Prince or Double Activated Paddock. That's pretty awkward. Um, potion, huh? Well, I'm not going to open potion, that's for sure. Um, thinking plan on bridge. That is, that is really, if they, if they hit, actually hit 3P, that's, that's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> that is bullshit. I'm sorry, but that's bullshit. All right, so we will probably need to respond to this familiar business. I would really like a seer, though. Although we did just trash two estates, which definitely makes seer worse. Um... Maybe we should just go ahead and take the potion now. Yeah. What about, how do we feel about Fool's Gold? That does combine well with Seer. Um, it doesn't particularly help us this shuffle, though. We don't have a Seer yet. I think we don't. Take that. What I would really like uh, my potion bottom decked. Oh my god, I'm gonna lose this game because of that the combination of they hit three P, which they totally didn't deserve to do, and I bottom decked the potion. Um I would really like to plan on the Seers to continue my trashing, but I don't really have the, the coins for it right now. Yeah, this is... <laughs> this is so... Yes. We trigger the shuffle... Obviously, we don't put the curse on top, but um, I think we trigger it. Okay. Um. Oh, 
we're one coin short of planning on Seer. I think we just go like that. That's so ridiculous. We didn't even... We bottom decked our potion again. Like, this is obscene. It would have been so easy for them to just hit 2p and then... <laughs> like... Ugh. Alright. Alright, now we can do the plan seer by seer thing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Addicts are semi activated here, but. Still not to the point where I prefer them over Seers for obvious reasons. This is, uh, I just, I'm so irritated that this worked out so well for them. Like, that this is not... <sighs> like, they didn't even buy a silver... Do I leave the seer where it is? Uh, I don't know. I think I don't just because I want to be able to trash. And I can't. Oh my god. Um. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. You move the plan token again, I guess. I guess I put it on Paddock. I'm just on the assumption that my opponent will take the last seer. Maybe they won't, but... Wait, why does it... That's a bug. Oh, this is... I should probably just resign. This is so bullshit. I don't even have a paddock. I'd take a third bridge, but it doesn't like. Eh, whatever. Still have six curses. Like, so stupid. Okay. Uh, we want to get modify going. The draw here is weak. Um, there is moat to block the legionary attack, but that's not going to be super reliable. There's also village green, so I guess it's not 
that big of a problem. Hmm. The inter the clerk legionary interaction is also a thing, I guess. I think this is just silver clerk. Because we want to hit modify more than we want to mess around with workshop. Uh, we could take a second clerk, or we could just start in on Village Green. Hmm. I think I'll take the Village Green. If I don't hit five, I can always buy another clerk. Well, I did. This is unfortunate. Do we want to take the workshop? They got double modify? Damn, come on. What the hell? Even with the clerk attack? How the hell? What? Did they have like six one turn or something and bottom deck some estates? Like what? All right, I guess I'll take a workshop. It's... Hmm, yeah. It's nice to get the village greens. We can play this for... Well, we might draw our modify. Uh, nope, it just misses the shuffle, of course. <laughs> this is, so far, I have to say, this has been... I mean, okay, I misplayed the first game, but this this last game plus this game so far just looking absolutely brutal. Um, we could go double village green here. I kind of like that. Yeah. We haven't actually gotten much to do with our village greens, mind you. But I still think, I mean, like if we hit five again, we can take a vault. We can use our, we get, like we can modify copper into moat. I think, I think I prefer to just keep stacking these up. Yeah, we do have the pouch, right? I'll take a village green and a moat here. It's gonna be hard to draw enough to have uh, Triumph really do much of anything here. Okay, we can take the last village green. Um, do we draw with this one? I think we do. I don't think saving the actions does a whole lot for us. Do we want another moat or do we want another clerk? Hmm. I'll say clerk. Hmm. Uh, we could next turn this village green. And maybe now we just buy a moat. I don't know. I guess there's no reason not to top-tick the village green anyway. Hmm. Oh, whatever, this doesn't really matter.
Herbalist. That I don't think I want to touch. All right, one more moat with this workshop. And then we... We could even add another one with this modify. There is definitely such thing as too many moats. <laughs> hmm. Um... Yeah, I think I'm just going to trigger the shuffle. Ah, da, 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 da. Let's, let's draw with this. Okay. Yeah, we can take the double moat now. I mean... Hmm. Kind of lacking in payload. But... I don't know. We have a good number of villages. I can always trash these things, I guess. And it will help with the clerk attack. And prospectively with the legionary attack, if that's ever relevant. It's just a rough board to play. Just not a lot to do. Uh... I think we just cycle out this estate. Okay. I think we're just buying a gold here. It's too bad that we didn't gain any cards this turn to where we could trigger commerce, but... We bottom deck three village greens. <laughs> I was like... That's some sur surprise that I had already had enough modes to have terminal problems. Well, okay. Uh, Go ahead and assume that we're going to want to play both of these. We could trash this workshop. The workshop's pretty bad at this point. And we could think about commerce. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We could go like legionary commerce or something. Well, I don't know what we're taking off of this, though. We could take the legionary off of this. I mean, the Legionary is not likely to do a whole lot, but. Eh. Oh, wait. Uh, hold on. You know what? Mm, let me just cantrip it. We can't play both of the clerks if we. Okay. Well. I don't think I actually want to do that anyway. Maybe that wasn't necessary. Um, what? Okay. Was it just because of the 6-4 village split? Maybe. <sighs> Certainly thought there was plenty of game left. All right. Cursed couriers. Poor guys. So, mm, there is no way to activate footpad as seems to be the case in the times when I run into it. <laughs> um, there is draw, it's on the weak side again. The trashing is slow, which isn't great with when we have cursed. Mm. I don't think we want an anvil. I'll, I mean, at least not right now. Well, on the other hand, I mean, we're not Desperate to hit five quickly.
Yeah, I, I, I actually I think I can get behind the anvil. Oh, interesting. I wonder if they had 5-2. Yeah, do we want exorcist or salvager? I think exorcist. I think we, again, because we're not really trying to hit 5. Okay, well, this is a little sad, but that's okay. I'm going to be anviling for some couriers and get that, that loot. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take a courier. Puzzle box. Okay. And the question is, do we want a second exorcist or do we want a salvager? I, courier can't play exorcist. Which makes me a little bit more inclined towards the salvager, even though we've already trashed, trashed an estate. Prize goat. I wish I had gotten that one for sure. Uh, one more courier. I think. Staff. Okay. And. Take one more exorcist. We are going to need like serious thinning here. I don't like getting a second salvager because we don't have any estates to trash, but. Yeah, let's get the exorcist. Oh dear. Oh, I should have taken a Hamlet. <laughs> oh wait, staff, staff, okay, we're fine. Courier playing courier, playing staff, playing salvager, trashing a curse, and then we'll puzzle box the exorcist. Pretty good, I would say. All right. Uh, I think crew Hamlet. Chalice, okay. That's not as good of a pull, I would say. There are boards where I think Chalice is good, but I wouldn't say this is really one of them. Ugh. Um, we want to take another courier here, or even another two couriers. Maybe. Take one more anyway. Sextant. Okay. Uh, I mean, we do have a Hamlet in our discard. Oh, no, wait. No, it's not in our discard. Uh, we do have a Hamlet. So, do we want another one in case we need to courier into that? Yeah, I think so. Hmm, okay, well. Take a second crew. Two crews is definitely awkward. Um, but what are you going to do, I guess? Okay, so we have... We have a Hamlet and a Wisp in our discard. So I think we can lead with Courier here, probably to play Wisp. Or Courier to play Courier to play Wisp. Fora, that's okay. All right, 
courier playing courier playing wisp nice um right now we have 10 coins which is a pretty useful amount to have So I'm going to go ahead and discard the curse. Obviously, there's reasons potentially to not do that. Whoa, okay. <laughs> uh, if we're going to set anything up beside, it's going to be the staff. I think we discard the salvager and try to play it off of a courier or something. Okay, I mean, we could also set aside a copper. Let's, let's grab another courier hammer. That's, that's a good one. So we can have 10 to 14 coins. We could go ahead and alliance. We could alliance while still puzzle boxing the staff even. Um, we have our two crews, The if we, maybe I should have actually gone Alliance in, but we know we have the Hamlet coming up, so that's probably not necessary anyway. Yeah, I think, I think we're going to go ahead and Alliance. Like, the, the piles are getting kind of low. And the other thing we could, yeah. And Alliance is going to drive piles down further, and this is too sloppy of a game to get full deck control anyway, so I think this should all be fine. It also gives us more fodder for the Exorcists. Footpad. Hmm. I don't really like the footpad here. I don't think it's very strong. That's some exorcists. Um, hmm. Right now, it sure looks tough to use both of these exorcists. We do have the staff to trigger a shuffle if we want that. But we might want more than that. Yeah, okay. I'm I'm down to to see what the courier flips. Okay. Um sextant. Get this crap out of here. Uh we should courier a Hamlet for next turn. Because uh, we're going to have two crews top decked. So let's hammer Hamlet. Um, and get a couple more Hamlets. Set aside a copper. Go Alliance double Hamlet. Okay. Oh, the courier's gonna discard the crew. Oh, that's so awkward. Uh, I mean, I guess we can play the wisp first. Yeah. Oh, curses are at three. I totally forgot about that. Wow, okay. Totally forgot about that. I was like, piles are low, and I didn't even know the half of it. Okay, courier to play 
Courier. What did that discard? Hopper. Play Hamlet. Discard that for action. Oh, the other crew did get flipped. Okay, fine. Whatever. Um, so, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If we, yeah, we trash this anvil, we can alliance again. I think that's worth doing. Worth, worth, worth. Okay, so we know we have the crew on top again. So what we do is we lead with Hamlet, discarding Curse for action. Then we play Courier to probably play another crew, the, the other crew. Something like that. It's definitely possible that there's like some like sneaky pile out that I could have. Oh, we have another. Okay, well that's fine. Uh, Hamlet discard for action. That so we can play another. We discarded a courier. Okay, we can play another courier. Ugh, discarding a copper. Yeah, that's fine. To play. I mean, we could play another Hamlet. Um, that seems a little unnecessary. If we play a crew, we've got. Yeah, I think I think just play the crew. Yeah. Okay, um, five, yeah, 11. We don't really get any value from like, if we, so trash the gold, we get to 14. Trash the silver, we get to 13. None of that matters. Let's just trash the curse. I guess trashing the province, double alliance, would have some merit. Yeah, actually, let's do that. Oh wait, is that's not enough though? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep, that's not enough. Okay, eh, sorry. <sighs> Can't math. <clears throat> it's well known. Well. We got two crews on top, and we got a courier coming. So, yeah, I was going to say, this is not going to be the greatest of turns. But we did have our staff coming up. So maybe the turn, or the game, the turn, not the game. The turn would have been rescued. But we were also pretty commanding lead. Just getting this, the, the tempo on scoring there was pretty strong. Okay, so the only estate trashing is catapult. We got bonfire, but there's also catapult, so that's pretty awkward. Um, we're definitely going to get a catapult. Question is, do we bonfire or do we get, I don't know, something else? <laughs> the only plus actions here is Herald, which is... Always. Oh, wait, there's Longship, too. Ooh, 5-2. All right. Um, I mean, it's probably correct. It's a bonfire. Courier Catapult definitely has the opportunity for sadness, but also has some nice upside... We're not really worried about hitting five necessarily, despite the charlatan. I'm not like super concerned about that. Mostly I'm concerned about like if I bonfire now, I have five coppers, nine card deck, five coppers. I'm just worried about like 
what am I, am I, am I, I mean, I guess I do get to catapult more often as the main thing. Though I'm going to need to catapult the estates is the, so eh, it's, it's kind of, hmm. I, I'm, I think, I think it's still bonfire, but it's, it's tough call. Okay, so we could bonfire again. And if we we know we're gonna see the catapult in an estate, I mean like pick up a silver or whatever. I think I think that's just strong enough. I just have to do it. Here, do we attack? Um, we can afford to attack. That much is clear. Like, unless we're trying to buy Herald or something. Which I guess we could. Hmm. Our opponent has three estates and has bonfired twice, so attacking is unlikely to hurt them. So I think we don't actually and go ahead and take a herald. Okay, so we can hit five here, or we can attack. Oh, they reacted with moat. Okay, that makes that a lot easier of a choice. Should probably get a charlatan of our own. It's going to be a little dicey here with the terminal collision, but... We can do a giant herald overpay here, or we can do something else, I don't know. Um... <laughs> I mean, like, the giant hell of overpay doesn't do anything. <laughs> Even top decking the one herald doesn't do necessarily too much because we just want to hit the... Yeah, I don't know. Uh... And the other thing we could do is take a long ship. Yeah. Having a pair of long ships would be nice. We can hit it here, that would certainly be nice. We cannot. Okay. Um I think I prefer catapulting. Well, we don't hit four if we catapult. Okay. Ugh. Man, that moat. All right, let's get the second long ship now. And then I don't think we're going to get any more than that. I think just, just having those will be good enough. Not time. All right, do we want to get a merchant guild at this point, or do we want to get another herald? Oh, we still got some junk to clean up. I think I'm going to say another herald. Like, the boss buy would definitely be nice. There's no doubt about it, but... But I want to make sure that I play my charlatan and my catapult. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is 
silly amount of coins. Let's go ahead and take the Merchant Guild, I think. It's it's still not, I mean, we're by no means guaranteed to draw, but... Yeah, we like we did hit we did a herald hitting herald there, which obviously helps. There is a slight risk here that we hit catapult and we don't have a good target for it, but I don't know what to do about that. Okay, dodge that particular bullet, man. This frickin' moat, I swear. Um, okay, another Herald for sure. We can just go Herald Vagrant and top deck the Herald, and like Vagrant just gives us another target. And we could go Moat too. We could even top deck the Moat if we wanted to. Maybe that's even good. Hmm. Yeah, maybe that's what they've been doing. I hadn't even considered that possibility. And that that can't be working every turn because you, if you, once you have the moat in hand, like it's not there for you to top deck. But it, in fact, yeah, no, there, there's that that can't they can't have done that very much. But Ugh, we didn't find the charlatan. I think I think we go ahead and draw it off, but I would rather play the merchant guild probably. Yeah, I think so. All right. Um just take two more heralds or do we want another merchant guild? You don't get to top deck anything if we take the Merchant Guild. And it's not like we can really make use of the third buy. It's just about the coffers accumulation. The Heralds are important enough. I just want to take two more Heralds. I guess, do I want to spend a coffer to top deck a Herald? Yeah. No catapult. Okay. Courier, Courier definitely has some. <laughs> okay. That was that's Harold for you, I guess. Um. All right. Let's get one more Merchant Guild then, and a Harold. Overpay one. Just object the Herald, thank you. Yeah, as, as I was gonna say, Courtier does have some merit here, although I don't I certainly don't want any gold in my deck. But if you can ha if you can get like a stowaway and do like action coins by like that's pretty good, and if you have actions and you can do that like that's also pretty good. So it's definitely not not bad. I think just given the that the control here is not super precise, I prefer uh, to just. 
uh, have the um, merchant guilds. We might want to take one more long ship. Oh wow, we have a huge lead in the heralds. I did not realize even that that was the case. Also, piles are low, although we don't have the gains to like really push that. So we could just go like merchant guild, long ship. We can also take a free vagrant. Guess there's not much reason not to. And then I, I think we'll probably take one more long ship this turn, and then that will probably be enough control to see us through to the end of the game. I can definitely see the argument for discarding a merchant guild here, but I would rather... I'm not confident enough in my draw that I want to do that. Well, <laughs> I guess I didn't need to anyway. All right. Um, our opponent has three buys tops. So we don't risk them ending the game by own lowering long ships. Not that they could afford four long ships anyway. So let's get another one of those and another merchant guild. Uh, I think we can take one more merchant guild to have the buys to at least threaten piles and then take another free vagrant. Maybe we didn't need the long ship. Well, if we don't, if we're not, if we don't, blah, 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 I can't, words. If we can't end the game this turn for whatever reason, having the other long ship, I guess, is in theory helpful, but what is the circumstances under which we can't end the game this turn? I don't, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, it's not really a realistic scenario. Oh, we didn't even need green cards. I actually didn't realize that. Because <laughs> they still had curses. Alrighty, last one. And we got Recruiter. We got Menagerie, which helps offset Skirmisher. We, the only plus actions... Oh, wait, Recruiter. <laughs> Okay, there's also Sano Vanto and there's Flagship, but yeah. Um, the question is, do we just go double silver? Well, no, we might as well go Flagship silver. Yeah, okay. Well, I think I'll go ahead and take a Menagerie here. Pretty mirrored build so far. Ooh, but I've got my flagship in play in front of the recruiter. I guess the bottom deck there's? I don't know. That's very nice. Okay, now we gotta think a little bit. Um, are we already ready to put a plus buy card in our deck? Probably not. Probably not. Although, hmm. I mean, there is there are menageries to buy. We've only got one estate left, which means hitting like five with the charm is unlikely. 
So, yeah, actually, I think we are ready for a charm. I mean, it could happen here if we top deck the charm, but... But that is not the concern. All right. Um, now that we have the charm, I think we just want to pilgrim. Pilgrimage would be pretty nice, um, but let's get the pilgrim. This is a, a pretty good, a good game card. One more charm. And we've got the flagship down, which means if we like see the pilgrim first, we get to play that twice and we draw our deck. If we see the recruiter try it twice, maybe we don't quite draw a deck, but we get pretty close. So I think one more charm, and then the question is like, do we just want to like a skirmisher? Um over another pilgrim? Like, it does add a little bit more payload to our deck. Or do we just take the Pilgrim for safety's sake? I think I'm fine with the Skirmisher. Oh, right, we could end up double playing the Menagerie. Ah, with a bunch of coppers in our hand. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. All right, maybe now we take the other Pilgrim. Oh, that was too bad. Too bad. We might get skirmished here. Surely will. Unfortunate. Yeah, that was a pretty bad draw that last turn. Um, I think we go here, go ahead and go Pilgrim first here. It doesn't really matter. Uh, so we can get three fives. That's what we want to do. I think that's what we want to do. Um, we'll definitely take a skirmisher. Uh, we should probably take another recruiter. We've got Menagerie Pilgrim coming up. We probably don't need another Pilgrim. I don't like taking another Charm. Oh boy. At least we know we're going to draw the Pilgrim. We trash this silver. Perhaps to make sure we have some villagers. What did they do? I kind of okay. So we could go buy coins and then double gain, and we go pilgrimage five. I think I like that. Um, I'll take another skirmisher. Another charm and another pilgrim. Do we need another pilgrim? I don't know. I think having one more it might be nice. 
I would like another flagship. It's hard to get with the charms. It would also be good to take an Enclave like they did just to get the, the gold into the deck for some more payload. All right, we're probably getting skirmished here. Although, it's significantly more awkward for them. Uh, hmm. Flagship the Skirmisher or the Recruiter? That's a tough call. Would like to be getting rid of these coppers. I think I'm going to say the Recruiter as such. I mean, we're going to have to trash something more expensive here, but... Could be the other recruiter, and we can just take another one. Uh, although having this last card be a pilgrim, well, we have the menagerie coming up. Okay, so we can top deck that. Okay, so we need at least one plus buy. Um. Do I think another one so that we can afford pilgrimage enclave and then oh, that doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? Oh, well, we could take up Flagship with the other two charms. Yeah, okay, that works. Okay, so Enclave. That oh, doesn't have to be a... I guess we could... Yeah, whatever. Uh, skirmisher, Recruiter, Flagship. One more charm. Sure. Oh, oh menagerie! <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess it was pretty likely anyway because the skirmisher stuff. Or not. Hello. Um, I don't think I want to flagship the Menagerie, though. I want to flagship the Skirmisher? Yeah, sure. Oh, okay. I do think I was winning that game. Um, well, alright. I was pretty <laughs> unhappy with how things were going game two, but we got back on it and uh, managed to win out the rest. Um, I don't know, maybe, and maybe my complaints were unfounded, maybe the, their strategy was just better in game two, like, I, I really, I really do in general think that, like, going potion opening for familiar is dubious, but I haven't actually run the numbers, so, um, I could be wrong about how dubious it is, and maybe that's just a risk worth taking, it's just, especially without like also taking a silver, it's like it. It really doesn't take much for that to to whiff. But, um, but wow, that match finished in an hour and fifteen minutes. Holy crap, that might be a record for me. Um, after my last one took over two and a half hours because there was like it was like. It was about this fast to finish the first four games, and then the next two games took over an hour. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I should run the numbers on on uh, the potion opening for th a 3P and see 
like if my intuition is off there because that's not the first time I've gotten burned that way, and I'm you know I'm questioning the the wisdom of my intuition as such. Uh, I mean, I definitely like I, d I did bottom deck my potion, and then they um like they managed to get they had like three familiars by like. They played three familiars on like the first shuffle shuffle there was an opportunity for them to do so so like they managed to see the potion and buy a familiar like consistently and i guess like once they bought the first one of course that became more likely because they got the plan trash um at least i think i think they got uh, they saw like 3p within a state so yeah i think it's like that would kind of snowball uh once they once it worked out it really was going to work out uh so that's definitely um like it is definitely not surprising that they were able to do that once like the once it like the initial thing worked especially because you know like you start with 10 cards you put in the 11th in but then you trash one and now you're at 10 plus the the familiars and the familiars are cantrips so like they have to specifically bottom deck for you to not see them and you're guaranteed to see the potion to be able to buy more familiars um and i guess now that i'm thinking about it maybe they didn't actually Maybe one of their familiars did bottom deck, and then that 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 shuffle they played three of them was like one of them was on top. I I, I I'm not actually sure about that. I don't think so, but yeah, maybe. But whatever, it's all good. Um, yeah. So doing pretty well so far this season. We'll see how it goes in the last two matches. Thanks for watching, and until next time.